The day is upon us. Marshmallow has graced us with its presence, but you go to download it and what's this? It's a TGZ? I just want Marshmallow on my phone. Well, don't you worry. I'm Mark Burstein with Techno Buffalo and we are going to flash stock Android on your Nexus device. First things first, we're going to need to head to the Google factory image page and grab the appropriate download for your device. In this case, we're flashing my Nexus 6, so we're going to grab the Marshmallow build for Shamu, which is the code name for the device. We're going to leave the link to this, this page in the description down below, and we're going to do the same for all the other links in this video, so check the description for all the good stuff that you need. While we're at it, let's also go download the Android SDK. If you already have Fastboot and ADB set up on your computer, you can go ahead and skip this step. If I'm speaking gibberish to you, then you're going to want to pay attention. ADB is the Android debug bridge. It allows you to run commands on your device from your computer. Fastboot allows you to do the same thing, but while your device is in fastboot mode while it's off, that allows you to flash or install, that's the fancy word for it, new software on your device's partitions that it's using while it's actually on and running. Once you've downloaded the SDK, we're going to need to run the Android executable that's located in the tools folder. This is the Android SDK. From here, we're going to select the most recent SDK and the tools. You're going to check them all off and go ahead and hit install. It's going to take a few minutes. If you're on a Mac and you upgraded from Mavericks to Yosemite, you may need to download the Java runtime from Apple. Without this patch, the executable might not work. So if you're getting a few errors, head to that page. Make sure you're running the most recent version of Java. While that's all downloading, let's make sure that our device is ready to go. Go ahead and head into your settings on your phone tap on about and tap on the build number until you become a developer. Congratulations, you did it. You can now develop apps. Not really. This just enables the developer options inside the phone. Head into the developer options, which should be revealed now in the settings and ensure that USB debugging is enabled. Wow, look at you. You're doing so great. I'm so impressed. Okay, now let's grab ourselves a USB cable, plug that sucker right into your computer. I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, but you absolutely can do this on a PC as well. You just need the right drivers for your OEM and you can omit the period and slash at the beginning of the commands that we're going to get to in just a minute. Pop open your terminal or a shell prompt if you're on Windows. And if this is where you get a little lightheaded, stay calm. This isn't terribly hard. And if you've never done it before, it'll be a great, great learning experience for you. Just follow the instructions and you'll be running Marshmallow in no time. While you can install ADB and Fastboot on your computer, we're going to do it the harder way here. It's important, I think, to learn what you're doing so you don't brick your device. All your computer is doing is issuing terminal commands when you're clicking on things in the UI. All we're going to do is cut out the middleman of the UI and work directly inside the terminal. While we're not going to install ADB and Fastboot, let's at least make our lives just a little bit easier. In Finder, go ahead and move your new Android SDK folder to your Applications folder, then make a new folder on your desktop. You can call it anything you like. Here for the video, we're going to call it Marshmallow. Move your stock image that you just downloaded into it, then open up your Android SDK folder and copy ADB and Fastboot to your Marshmallow folder. Now, we need to make sure that Terminal is looking at the right folder. So in the prompt, go ahead and type CD, and then Users, your username, Desktop, Marshmallow, and hit Enter. What this is going to do is change the directory that Terminal is looking at to focus on the folder that we're working inside of. CD means change directory in Unix. So let's make sure that that worked. Go ahead and type LS and hit enter. That's going to list all the files that are inside that folder so that if you see what we're looking to work with, you're in the right place. What you're looking for is the image, ADB, Fastboot. If you see them, great job. We're almost there. Now that we know that we're in the right place, let's make sure that our computer can see our device. We're going to use ADB, the Android debug bridge, to see if we can see our device as it's plugged in. Go ahead and type period slash ADB devices. If the computer can see your phone, you'll see a device in the list. If not, make sure that you're running the correct drivers on Windows and that USB debugging is indeed turned on on your device. If you can see your phone, let's move on. Now, decompress the TGZ file and inside you're going to find a bootloader image, a few flashing scripts, the update image, and the radio image. Go ahead and shut off your device, and while it's off, boot it into fastboot mode by pushing and holding the volume down and power buttons until you see the Android with its little belly open. Look at that, you're doing so well, we're almost done. You're also going to want to go ahead and decompress that image file that you see there. You'll get five other files inside of there, boot, cache, system, recovery, and user data. Ignore those flash files in the folder that got decompressed. We're going to flash these one by one. 
Your device has multiple partitions on it, and we're going to need to flash a few of them. From here, we're going to be dragging files into the terminal window for ease of use, otherwise we're going to be typing and we're going to be prone to typos. First, we're going to need to make sure that your bootloader is unlocked. If it isn't, this command is going to unlock it and it's going to wipe your device in the process, so make sure your stuff is backed up. On your device's screen, check on the bottom. If it says device is unlocked, you can skip this step. Making sure that your terminal window is always pointing at the Marshmallow folder, go ahead and type period slash fastboot OEM unlock, enter. After each command, we're going to reboot the bootloader by typing period slash fastboot space reboot dash bootloader. You can get to this command quickly by accessing your previous commands in the terminal window by pushing the up arrow since we're going to be doing this more than once. First thing we're going to flash is the bootloader. So all of these commands are going to be basically the same, except for the actual image file, the name is going to change. So for this one, we're going to do fastboot flash bootloader and then the path to the actual file that needs to be flashed. Like I said, we're going to be dragging these into the terminal window just for ease of use, but feel free to type it out if you think you can do it. Next up, we're going to flash the radio. Again, same deal. Type in fastboot into the terminal command, flash radio this time, and then drag in the radio and hit enter. Next up, we're going to flash the recovery. You guessed it, we're going to type fastboot flash recovery, drag the recovery file in, and hit enter. We're also, of course, going to flash that boot partition. So, yep, fastboot flash boot and that file. Hit enter. Of course, after each and every step, make sure you're rebooting the bootloader. And finally, we're going to flash the system. Fastboot flash system and the system image file, and you're good to go. You can see all the things that Fastboot can do just by running regular old Fastboot without any other commands. We didn't wipe the device here, so this is a dirty install. You're going to keep all your data, but if you want to start from scratch, just append a dash W before the command that you want to wipe the contents of the partition for. For example, let's wipe our device's system and user data before we flash a new version of Android. Just remember, this will wipe your device clean. Fastboot dash w flash system and then the system image is going to make sure that that system partition is nice and clean before any of the system files for android are installed and that's it you're all done you made it now you just need to type fastboot reboot and enjoy your new sweet treat it'll take a while to boot up the first time but don't worry it's just doing some work under the hood if it does get stuck at the boot screen wipe everything clean and using what you've learned now try again and make sure you follow the steps if you're interested in learning more about the command line, I highly recommend checking out the command line crash course by Zed Shaw. It's totally free and you're going to feel a lot more prepared the next time you're looking to flash stock Android or a custom ROM. As I mentioned at the top of the video, links to everything mentioned are in the description below. Everything from the links to the Google factory page to directions and you can also check out the article on the site if you want to find the commands so that you can copy and paste them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments how it goes for you and what you think about Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Thanks again for watching. Be kind to one another and I'll catch you in the next video.